At San Diego State University, students living on campus who test positive for the coronavirus are promised isolated housing, but some students say it's taking longer than expected to get a room. The surge in positive cases among students was detected just 10 days after students returned to campus. Among the 184 students considered positive or probable to have COVID-19 since August 24th is student Ava, who did get sick last Tuesday, and whose mother, Shelly Flanagan, now regrets letting Ava return for in-person instruction. Honestly got a nightmare on our hands, and I figure it's only a matter of time before um, I'm going to bring my daughter home. She woke up with 101 temperature, she had a splitting headache, she had a sore throat. Um, to, well, about a day later, she lost her sense of taste and smell. I'm a little bit nervous about this next step, but at least I know she's in safe housing. Shelly says Ava went to the SDSU medical clinic for a COVID-19 test and was instructed to go back to her apartment with her three other roommates while awaiting test results. A directive that does align with the university's quarantine protocol, she says Ava decided to stay at her sister's home in Encinitas instead. Two days later, she learned she was COVID-19 positive but didn't receive instruction on moving to isolation housing until later the next day. An SDSU spokesperson says the school cannot comment on specific cases due to HIPAA violations.